Development of the placenta begins during implantation. When the blastocyst adheres to the endometrial epithelium, trophoblast cells differentiate into an inner cytotrophoblast layer and an outer syncytiotrophoblast layer. As the cytotrophoblast proliferates, newly formed cells migrate into the syncytiotrophoblast and lose their cell membranes, forming a rapidly growing, multinucleated mass. The cytotrophoblast secretes proteolytic enzymes and the syncytiotrophoblast sends out finger-like projections, allowing the blastocyst to embed into the endometrium. Lacunae, or spaces, begin to form within the syncytiotrophoblast. As the syncytiotrophoblast erodes the endometrial blood vessels and glands, the lacunae become filled with maternal blood and glandular secretions. Isolated lacunae fuse to form a network through which maternal blood flows, thus establishing early utero placental circulation. Toward the end of the second week, small projections of the cytotrophoblast begin to expand into the syncytiotrophoblast, forming primary chorionic villi. Early in the third week, extra embryonic mesoderm grows into these villi, forming a core of loose connective tissue, at which point the structures are known as secondary chorionic villi. By the end of the third week, embryonic blood vessels have begun to form in the extra embryonic mesoderm of the secondary chorionic villi, transforming them into tertiary chorionic villi. Cytotrophoblast cells from the tertiary villi grow toward the decidua basalis and spread across it to form a cytotrophoblastic shell. Villi that are connected to the decidua basalis through the cytotrophoblastic shell are called anchoring villi. Villi growing from the sides of the stem villi are called branch villi. These branch villi are surrounded by the intervillous space and will serve as the main sites of exchange between mother and fetus. By the fourth week, fetal blood flow is established. Poorly oxygenated blood is transported to the placenta from the fetus via paired umbilical arteries. These arteries send branches into the chorionic villi and divide into capillary networks at the terminal end. Carbon dioxide and waste products are removed from the fetal circulation across the placental membrane to the maternal blood in the intervillous space. Oxygen and nutrients are transported across the placental membrane from the maternal blood to the fetal capillaries. Oxygenated fetal blood travels back through veins, converging to form a single umbilical vein that goes to the fetus. Blood returns to the maternal circulation through endometrial veins, forced out by the pressure of incoming arterial blood. The placenta nourishes the fetus throughout development and is delivered shortly after parturition. <laughs>